do you have a philosophy on verbal commitments and what those mean? You know, if, if a guy verbally commits to you, are you sort of of the opinion that, okay, he should shut down the recruiting process, or is it basically just a free-for-all until they sign on the dotted line? Well, yeah, I'm of the opinion of a, of a commitment is a commitment, and that's a two-way street. If we, if we offer a guy a scholarship and he commits to us, we honor that. You know, if there's a behavioral issue or, or something that, that comes up, obviously that's different. But, but that's, that's a two-way street. If, if, a kid, if a kid at any point doesn't want to be here, that's, that's fine. You know, but the, the, you know, pursuit of those guys and I'll, you know, again, that's, that's part of it. But you end up, I 100% believe you end up with the right guys. Do you have a, a formal or informal policy on guys that are committed uh, taking official visits to other schools? Or is it on a case by case basis? How do you handle it? Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's uh, by and large, it's if you're going to go somewhere else, decommit. And, and again, going back to the, to the commitment question, if we're committed, then we're not visiting. If, if you're visiting, then it's very, you know, very obvious that you're not committed. Therefore we're not committed. Um, but you know, there, there, there are individual cases where things come up and, you know, again, which is part of this generation of, of whatever, taking a free visit to Hawaii and they think that's cool. And I don't think that's right. You know, I think that for every trip that you take, you're, you're taking a trip from somebody else that, you know, might actually use that scholarship or whatever. And, you're wasting a ton of time and money. It, it's a it's a double-edged sword. I think in our in our case of of uh, you look at just the black and white of it. Yeah, we'd like to be the number one ranked recruiting class in the world. Sure, absolutely, we would. But we also want to get the right guys for our our culture, our fit, all all of those things. We we turned away multiple four-star guys, multiple five-star guys that have signed with other people and will not qualify. I could write them down. They won't qualify. But today they're you know number whatever and that's 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 fine again that wastes a ton of time a ton of inefficiency uh that that is pointless um we um you know have 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 done things you know if you compare us and stanford since about 2008 you know we've we've won the most on the field we've we've you know uh had consistently lower recruiting rankings and a couple other other teams uh one more on the field and sent more guys to the nfl and that's probably you know that's probably the better measure um we've had 135 guys in a row enroll you know that have, that have committed qualified and enrolled that's unprecedented and then we also have a very high retention rate so that's a smaller class and all those things uh so you know what i mean there, there's 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 reasons for all that um I think Matt Haggerty and, and Vernon Adams were very good football players. They contributed zero stars to any, you know, recruiting ranking ever. Same with uh, um, Dakota. And so, you know, it's it's strange. Uh, you know, again, I, whether it's on the field of a four-star guy or a five-star guy um, and how they're ranked and who they sign with uh, in the film that doesn't match up or certainly the, you know, the academic or, or other other considerations. That's life in the big city. You know, there's there's guys that decommitted and went somewhere else, and there's guys that decommitted and came to us, and so that that happens. And you know, obviously, you're handling things differently, um, one way or the other. Um, but that's it. You know, that's 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 what it is. The reception is fantastic, and you know, again, when you're, I was, you know, chuckling to myself of of. The I, I think the the narrative was we had a failure at class because we lost a guy from the southeast to a powerhouse in the southeast. That that's right. I mean that's interesting. I think we also have multiple guys that you know were offered by Alabama, that were offered by Ohio State, that were offered by USC, and so you know those are colossal failures, right? By somebody. Else. No, it's it's how this all works out, and. Uh, no, we, we are received very well. Uh, it's just, again, a matter of a kid. Uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll use Keith Sims and Wayne Kirby. Keith Sims is, you know, as far as you possibly could be from, from us and feels, you know, great and mature enough and secure to come here. Uh, and that's awesome. Wayne Kirby, you know, had a tough situation from a family standpoint of, of you know, some people wanted him to stay there. Some, he, he felt it was better for him to come here. That's that's almost as hard or harder to overcome than, than you know, that much... Uh, of a distance. But yeah, that's recruiting.